Hey guys, guess who it is? You probably wouldn't be able to guess it even though I'm on this account, but you know it's me, VHU Tutor. Okay, you might want to turn your volume up if uh, I'm not loud enough, but uh, my my last tutorial was cliffs, kind of like the easy way out, but this time it's going to be uh, triangles and, you know, with vertex manipulation and, manipulation and stuff, and it looks a lot better, but uh, you, you gotta know how to use it right. So, uh, I'll make a new one with a uh, new map. Now, if you really, if you're gonna put this in your game, uh, you wanna get the null texture from zhlt.wad, which is, uh, zhlt is a compiler, so on its Half Life tools, which is way better than the, uh, regular Half Life ones. So go on the grid and make a. 64 by 64 will work. Uh, size brush with uh, 16 height. Or 128 by 128, I guess. I don't know, I'll do 128 by 128. Okay, when, uh, no, you know what, F that. 64 by 64. Okay, now, get your, uh, apply your face the th part that you want the texture to be and then once you get that you cut it in half no 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 four times then you select them all half 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 oops then you group them with this group selected objects button copy it four times or more if you want and then you that. take out the vertex manipulation tool <coughs> okay back to in this um i think i will just uh well forget the sake of time but i'll just make it bigger even though i probably won't use this much but i'll make it bigger okay so you take it all out uh, go into the vertex manipulation tool and click on the tool until all you see is white and then uh, make a selection box and make sure you turn off auto select and then once you get your box make it outside the selected zone and then you put it where you want uh, which for which vertexes you want to select go ahead and hit enter and then you drag it around so I'll drag that out there and I'll go onto the side view and if you don't take the bottom vertex it gets messed up like it'll only take one vertex so choose from the bottom and it'll move all the vertexes see now we got this little figure there okay then uh... you know just keep doing the same thing and I just learned this not too long ago, so I'm not that pro at it, but, uh, you know, just mess around with it a little bit, like I'm doing right now. Don't make it, like, too much, or it'll just look weird. Okay, you know, just keep doing it. Up or down, high or low, whatever. I already got, I already have something weird looking on there. And the textures, that looks ugly, because not all of them are faced, but whatever. You want to see what happens when you select the top one? Watch. I'll sl I Oh, well that one worked, but uh sometimes it doesn't work. I'll show you what I mean. Like right there, say it only took one vertex. That's bad. That's why for some reason you can only select from the bottom ones. Oh, well F that. I don't know how that works, but it doesn't work very well. Let 
we have the most weirdest looking cliff right here. Now everything else is all. I'm gonna take that and rotate it. Mm-mm, now doesn't that look scrumptious? But you can all you know can also do this like for sand terrain. Or you know, just terrain. Ah. Like maybe make it on the ground, you know, maybe some sand or something, but that's basic vertex manipulation and if you just keep messing around with it, uh you'll get really good cliffs. Or doesn't have to be cliffs, just terrain, you know. I'm not the best at it because I just learned it. And, uh, I'm still messing around with it, you know. But we all gotta start somewhere. So I don't really know what this, all this messed up stuff could be used for, but, uh, it's good. It's, it's, uh, it's good. So, you know, comment, rate, and subscribe, or not, but, um, if you did, that would, that'd help.